I'm Kevin Coker, owner of New York Carpentry Solutions. Um, I'm a Virginia-based finished carpentry, home remodeling, bathroom remodel, kitchen remodel. I do decks, fences, and everything along those lines. Um, I decided to get into YouTube partially because I was inspired by a couple of finished carpenters, um, namely Spencer Lewis over on Insider Carpentry and Richard over at Finished Carpentry TV. I started watching a lot of Gary Katz videos and I just find everything that these guys do is super, super efficient. And I was recently blessed with getting a box truck and I love Ron Polk. I think he is probably one of the most amazing people I've ever seen on YouTube. I love what he did with the Smart Wood Shop and it inspired me to make this. So I'm going to do a quick run through of everything that's in here and kind of the reasoning behind it and then I'll have a deep dive video coming out afterwards. This is my smart wood shop. Um, I guess I'll start over here right across from where I'm going to be putting seats at. I'm going to be mounting a TV over top of here so I can do my quick books and all of my planning and also watch a little bit of TV. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to set up right across from this a set of seats that are going to lift up and allow for storage underneath and the back will come off to make a bed to come across and it'll also have, you know, have cushions on one side, other side will just be plywood so it'll also continue my countertop all the way across or again make a bed to combine with the seats going across. So I plan to have a TV here underneath of that and going all the way down. I have the Ron Park style uh, modular cubby system. On the bottom one, I didn't put a lip to stop anything. I have these uh, bins. Because I have exterior metal storage, pretty much my countertop is left with dead space underneath to get this to the proper height. So I store, you know, stuff inside of all these cubbies. And then when I have them latched upwards, it acts as a passive stop for everything sliding out. So I can latch this one up the same. This bin is just crowbars and hammers. That one is uh, levels, tape measures, squares, and stuff. All these up here are for all my bigger tools, uh, both my circular saws, my flex saws, all the rugby saws, all sanders, my plunge router. Overhead, I have my rugby miter saw stand, my six foot level, and my four foot level are both up there. I have one of my tiny giants, and then these bins are currently empty other than my guns. My planers here, I probably carry my biscuit joiner with me. More, you know, battery power tools underneath there with storage underneath. Over here on this side is pretty much empty space. This is either where I'm going to switch and put all my ladders, being my tiny giants, or my sawhorses, or it's going to it's going to be one of the three, either ladders, sawhorses, or all of my air hoses, extension cords, and batteries are going to pretty much be organized in this space. Going over, I have my table saw, my compressor is going to end up going in one of the exterior storage bins. This was where my vacuum was. My DeWalt vacuum is currently in one of my exterior storage bins. These batteries are going to get moved, and I want this generator to fit in one of my exterior storage bins. It's just a little too wide to fit in there, so I'm going to cut a passive uh, hole through it, pretty much, which will allow me to slide my generator in. This bin right here is originally for uh, trash cans. If I free up enough space on this side and I work the truck for probably about like five or six months, if I have the space, I will be adding a bathroom. And then I can do a three foot by three foot bathroom in here. I think this bin right here is like 28 inches wide. I can come out three foot and not impede with my door up front. I have room to stack a whole bunch of plywood here with uh, these divider rails. This area here again is going to be my seats with the lift up storage and everything else behind it. I copied uh, Ron's uh, drawer system. These don't open unless you lift up and pull them out. I also copied another smart wood shop idea and I put handles on the back side of all my drawers so all of these can be lifted out and carried into a job site. And then coming over here to my cut station, this miter saw can actually fold up out the way and latch 
on those latches right there. But also I have this cleat here that I'm just going to double as a way for me to mount my table saw. I have eight foot three inches cut capacity to the right to that wall. And then I have, I think this is four foot supported. And then I'm going to be able to do, no, it's like three. I think it's like 32 inch cabinet. But then I'm going to do a fold up arm to extend uh, my cut capacity out to my left. But then I'll be able to mount my table saw here and get cuts going to the left. I'm probably going to buy a battery powered table saw. Um, Akita doesn't have one, so it's probably going to be the Roby battery powered table saw. And then I'm going to get a larger uh, DeWalt on the stand and the DeWalt stand and my Makita rolling stand will go here while the miter saw is lifted up in this place. I guess I can show you guys one of the bins on the outside. It's currently raining, which is part of why I love this setup because I can stay inside of here, cut, work, uh, do my QuickBooks and everything else inside of the truck, whether it's raining or not. Just plug it into uh, power outside and I have power inside of the truck for me to do any and everything that I need to do. But it's like a uh, typical utility truck. This one just is just holding rags and trash bags. But yeah, I have bins going down both sides. I'm going to utilize the everything on the right hand side as immediate grab and go. I'm going to set up one bin pretty much for all of my carpentry stuff. My tool belt will probably go into my one of those exterior bins, along with you know framing squares, an extra circular saw, an extra drill. So I can grab that and go immediately to work. I have one bin set up for drywall with mud, quick set mud, mud pans, an extra bucket, a pole sander, all that's in one of those bins. So I can divide up all my bins on the right hand side for immediate stuff. All the bins on the left hand side is gonna be for deep storage. This is where my vacuum currently is. That's where I want that generator and this compressor to go. And if I can free up enough space, I will be doing a bathroom because I can do pretty much from here back and either I'll switch my seats down one and then put my bathroom up toward the door and pretty much take this cabinet off mount it down at the end and put my TV here vice versa I haven't really decided because then actually that would give me a longer uh, shelf going all the way down I don't know that's something I have to play with all in all um, this is my take on the smart wood shop. I'm gonna have more videos. I'm gonna be starting a YouTube channel. Uh, I was inspired by Insider Carpentry on Spencer Lewis and Richard over on Finished Carpentry TV. And Ron Park, I've been watching his videos for years and I love everything that he has done, all the innovations. So I plan to clear up this space or this bin up here, make me a set of miter saw wings or a Park smart bench, one or the other. I really want the bench, I really want the total station, but this truck doesn't have a ramp or a lift gate. And what I really want is a workstation on the job site that I can mount my table saw too. So I'll probably end up doing the Park Smart bench, not the total station, and just build me a set of miter saw wings that attach to my Makita back there. And that will be my job site setup. So I have a workstation and a cut station. But this is uh, what I came up with. That was a quick deep dive, is kind of what I have going on. Under here I have um, battery tools, underneath here is pretty much all of my hand tools, pretty much all the odds and ends that I end up grabbing like a pair of uh, siding cutters, um, files, pipe cutters, things of that nature. Bigger tools go into all the upper bins, my ladders, miter saw stand, my levels all go up here. Circular saws, sawzalls router sander this is currently empty <clears throat> underneath here though i keep my hammers and crowbars 
And this section here is where I'm gonna keep my levels, tape measures, speed square, my laser level, cat's paw, small crowbars. Then behind that is where the rest of my battery tools will go. I'm using all these as a passive stop for everything that's up there. I'm then going to be mounting a TV overhead so I can do my QuickBooks and everything else inside of my truck. I'm a small business, so this allows me to pretty much operate without having a um, pretty much stationary office space. I'm going to be able to uh, add cubbies over here that's just going to hold caulk and other very small items. This is going to be my seating area. I'm going to uh, do, this is 48 inches wide, so I can do a set of seats to seat two people and they will lift up so I can have storage underneath. Brings the seat height to the same as my countertop height. And then my backrest will probably be French cleated on or some other way of holding it on that makes it removable. They have those uh, hasping latches that I could do. But yeah, take the, take the backrest off then I can lay it across to make a bench top or a bed. A lot of my bigger stuff will go here on this side, but I think I can actually remove this and that compressor and get all those on the outside, which will allow me to, after I play around with this a little bit more, to probably build a bathroom here in this area. I will probably do a shower as well. Everybody keep, kept shooting me down, but I have six foot head clearance and I have three feet to where that door is. So either the bathroom can get moved to that end and this cubby gets moved down or vice versa. But I have room to put a bathroom in here. So that's something I'm going to play around with after working inside the truck for another couple months. Then into the drawers, they're not organized, they're not quite Ron Paul level. <laughs> so I hope nobody crucifies me, but. This is my hardware store. Um, I actually just used the last little bit of uh, screws in these two boxes, but screws and fasteners all go in here. These drawers are similar to this. Once you slide them in, they work on the dado system. They drop down behind. Um, I haven't put in a piece of hardwood, but they have a screw right here. I'm going to add the piece of hardwood afterwards. Underneath here, I believe this one is paint. this big one down here at the bottom. Let's see if I can open it one-handed, and I can. That's uh, sledgehammers, shovels, my longer clamps, and pretty much all of my large tools go down there. This bin is gonna be adhesives and tapes, so liquid nail, uh, blue tape, flashing tape, window tape, all those things will go into this bin. This is where I'm going to put all my blades. Jigsaw blades, sawzall blades. I need to make a router bit holder. And that's going to go in here. And coming down to this one. This is all my bits and jigs. So my drill bit boxes. My Craig jig right angle drill uh hole saw kit not hole saw kit but a door jig uh my hinge jig all those things go into this drawer these two bins are actually currently empty so i still have a lot of room to play around with how the truck actually functions because i have a lot of empty space here there this whole bin is completely empty at the moment so once I clear up this space here, I might end up building more drawers and stuff over here on this side. I might, you know, end up making a large fold down work table. I, I'm not really decided because I've only had the truck up and running for probably about a week and a half. So I'm going to dedicate a lot of time to playing around with how everything functions and how it all works together. And then I'm going to develop my last few finishing touches. The seats will be my next thing, my TV, and then getting uh, some outlets ran in here by my electrician so I can plug into the house. And so I can have battery, car batteries, pretty much power, a uh, set of LED lights in here, um, battery charging, and hopefully, I'm not an electrician, I'm not sure how much power you get out of a car battery, 
maybe if I grab two extra batteries or something like that, they can power my TV, a hotspot, my chargers, and some simple LED lights. If it's too much for that, then, you know, that would be something I only can use when I plug into shore power. You know, right now I just currently have a extension core running back to my house and that's powering my heater right now and my lights are on my battery power Roby. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoy. This is my smart wood shop. One thing I didn't mention, I have 39 and a half inches clearance from uh, this cabinet over to this wall here. So I have plenty of walking space. I still can stack in material if I need to. I can open this door and run material through to the cab. And I have a 12 foot box. I'm probably going to just designate a piece of plywood that stays in here that I can stick across there to make a tailgate if I need to carry any longer materials. I just did all the overhead stuff today. Um, kind of was getting tired. Everything else is built with pocket screws and jigs but uh when i came to trying to figure out how i was gonna throw my ladders and stuff up here they've been just laying in the alley because so, i pretty much you know finished up the truck and then went immediately into work but that didn't plan out well finish my ladder storage and i just got that miter saw stand i had just got that miter saw so stuff was just thrown in here and not having the alleyway clear was really really aggravating me so today i just came out here and took some of the scrap plywood and just I didn't have, I didn't want to bring out the table saw because if you can hear it, it's raining. So this will probably get changed later, but I just pretty much stacked up some three quarter inch plywood to make a lip to stop these from shifting off and screwed a piece on the ends that will keep that from going this way. But yes, everything else is a uh, pocket screwed cabinets. These are just pocket screwed side panels into the back with cleats over top. It took me roughly six days to get this done. I hope everybody enjoys the video. I hope people like and subscribe. You can find my channel over at New World Carpentry Solutions. I don't have many videos up yet, but I plan to be uploading a lot more. I have some older footage from a lot of my other jobs, but I was only making them, you know, 25 and 30 seconds long, so I can uh, put them on Facebook or Instagram. So I'm going to now start trying to shoot more long, long format, large format videos, so I can edit them down and put them on YouTube. I'm going to try to edit down some of the other videos that I have for some of my previous projects to see if I can make those into usable videos. But then from this point going forward, I'm going to try to make a lot of content. You know, some of the future projects I have, I actually have a screen in porch that I'm about to get started on. And that will probably be one of my next videos.